Longani Clinics YouTube channel welcomes all of you. Today we are going to study the topic hemorrhoids or piles and homeopathic treatment. Hemorrhoids or piles are swollen and inflamed veins in the rectum and anus that can cause discomfort and bleeding. They result from increased pressure on the lower rectum often due to straining during the bowel movements obesity and pregnancy symptoms include pain then there comes itching and rectal bleeding now we will see the lifestyle changes first one is a high fiber diet increase your fiber intake by consuming more fruits vegetables whole grains and legumes fiber adds bulk to the stool and helps prevent constipation reducing the strain during the bowel movements second one is a hydration drink plenty of water throughout the day staying well hydrated softens the stool making it easier to pass and reducing the risk of constipation the third one regular exercise engage in regular physical activity to promote bowel regularity and prevent constipation activities like walking swimming and yoga can be very beneficial fourth one avoid straining straining during the bowel movements can contribute to the development of hemorrhoids the fifth one fiber supplement if it's challenging to get enough fiber from your diet consider using fiber supplements after consulting with a healthcare professional sixth one avoid prolonged sitting sitting for a extended period can put pressure on the veins in the rectal area take break and try to stand or walk for a few minutes every hour especially if you have a sedentary job next one seventh one maintain a healthy weight excess weight especially around the abdomen can contribute to increased pressure in the pelvic area here are some homeopathic remedies that are commonly used for the hemorrhoids the first one is a esculus h this remedy is often recommended for hemorrhoids that are associated with a feeling of dryness and fullness in the rectum as well as there is a backache and a sensation of lump in the rectum large hemorrhoids without much hemorrhage next one is a hamamelis this remedy is used for hemorrhoids that generally bleeds easily and are accompanied by soreness and bruising it may also be beneficial for the varicose veins third one is a collinsonia this remedy is often suggested for individuals with hemorrhoids and constipation it is believed to help or it believed to relieve the pressure and engorgement of blood vessels in the rectal area sensation of sharp sticks in rectum itching of anus another medicines are ratanus or ratania and tucrium piles in latter months of pregnancy next important medicine is a naxomica this remedy may be recommended for hemorrhoids that are associated with overeating sedentary lifestyle and a tendency towards the constipation it is also suitable for individuals with a history of overuse of laxatives next medicine is sulfur this remedy is used for chronic cases of hemorrhoids especially when there is a burning sensation and itching people who may benefit from sulfur often have a tendency to be warm and dislike bathing next rare medicine is a sedum acre hemorrhoidal pains like those of anal fissures constricting pains few hours after the stool is a important medicine for fissure next seventh one is a ratania fissure of anus great constriction burning like a fire so do the hemorrhoids temporarily relieved by 
cold water. Now we will see the hemorrhoids or piles representation in the repertory. Especially in the boric repertory, we will see the chapter abdomen hemorrhoids. The medicines mentioned are esculus, aloes, ammonium carb, arsenic, calcarea fluor, capsicum, carbovage, collinsonia, fluoric acid, hamamalis, millifolium, then mucona, muratic acid, nitric acid, naxomica, peonia, podophyllum, ratania, sulfur and vithia. Now we will see the concluding part. It's important to consult with a qualified homeopathic practitioner for a proper assessment and individualized line of treatment plan. Homeopathy is based on the principle of like cures like and the selection of a remedy is based on the totality of symptoms and the individual's constitution. Thank you.